Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a fun little fun fold card for you. This is a stair step card, I believe is what it's called. And when it folds down flat, it will fit in your envelope. We are using uh, the Sophisticated Sled Bundle. This is an online exclusive, which just means it's available on the website, not in the catalogs, but it is available to everybody. Um, I'm also using some designer series paper in the background. Um, called Winter Meadow. It is a carryover from last year's um, winter catalog, I believe. So it is available online as well. Uh, but let's make our little sled first. This is a really popular set that's so fun. I, <laughs> as I mentioned in my previous video, is I'm from South Texas. I've never ridden a sled um, in my life but I still love this set. It is so cute and so fun and perfect for the holidays. You can paper piece your, um, your sled like uh, with the die cuts, which is what we're gonna do, or you can stamp it and color it, which I'll have another video for you um, if you're looking for how to use that image. Um, so really, all the stamping we're gonna do is that sentiment. Uh, so let's do, let's do all of our die cutting first. Actually, I take that back. We are stamping the, the um, skates. I forgot on my last project, we did not stamp the skates. We uh, actually cut them out too. So, you know, this is a mix of die cutting and stamping. All right, let's do that before we bring over our cut and emboss machine. I can hear you guys on the other end. You're yelling, Erica, hello, your skates are stamped. Are you blind? <laughs> yes, this morning I seem to be out of it. Okay, so stamp it memento. The only coloring I'm going to do is some light smoky slate here on the blades. Uh, you could color your skates any color you want. If you are from an area that does a lot of skating, you might have your own skates, or maybe you had them when you were a kid and you want to color your skates to look like skates that you had in the past. Um, I'm sticking with white. All right, so we've got a die for that. Let's bring over our cut and emboss machine and we're gonna lay all these pieces that we're gonna cut out. Now this one, I am gonna use a little bit of post-it tape to hold it in place um, because I don't wanna have to worry about it slipping at all. So get it lined up, look at the bottom and the top. Make sure everything is within the frame. You just put that tape down there. All right, now we're gonna cut the frame from, let me get it, from Early Espresso, which is this piece right here. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then the wood pieces from Pecan Pie. Um, we are going to cut out, let's see, I think should we, yeah, I think we'll die cut first and then we'll stamp the sentiment just to kind of save on bringing this back over here. I am using the Happy Little Things uh, banner. So we'll cut that out of Night of Navy. We're gonna stamp the sentiment in Versamark and cut it out with, I mean, uh, heat emboss it with white embossing powder. Um, typically I would recommend stamping first and then cutting. It just is easier, but for the sake of the video, we'll just go ahead and do that so we don't have to bring it back over. All right, so here are our wood pieces. Let's get them to come out. And I will, I said on my previous video also, my first project, I left this piece off. It stayed stuck in my die and I forgot about it. So don't let that happen to you. Here is our skate image and our frame. There, your take your, your take your pick tool is gonna be your best friend with these dies. It helps pick up all the little tedious things. Now you're also gonna need to cut out some little branches. And I use the Iconic Celebrations, nope, Iconic Imagery bundle, the dies. I used that for Facebook Live a few weeks ago. It's an online exclusive as well. But cut yourself about three old olive um, sprigs that you can put into your little uh, skates. All right, so I'm gonna start by just putting, oh, my glue is a mess. Let's see if we can make this work. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue. A dot is a lot, you guys. Don't use too much glue, you'll be sorry. Especially on these narrow frames right here. If you wanna use an adhesive sheet before you cut it out, you can put that on the back of your cardstock or your 
paper and then cut it out and it turns it into a sticker so you don't have to mess with the glue. All right, we'll put that down carefully like that. And then this piece goes across here. So we'll put two little dots here like that. And I think we'll stop, we'll pause there and give it some time to dry. Okay, you could put something heavy on it like a clear block and give it some time to dry, okay? Um, let's look at our little sprigs. We're gonna make some holly berries on the end of these with our enamel, our pearlized enamel effects. Um, now you wanna do this ahead of time because it's gonna take a good 15 to 20 minutes to dry. Um, just put a little dot and pull it straight up. And really, you, I'm just barely even squeezing my, my bottle. Okay, just dot and pull up, dot and pull up. It's gonna make like a little Hershey Kiss shape, but when it dries, it will be a little ball. All right, now that one, I'll just slide that away from that little mess sticking to my fingers since I have glue on them. All right, now take this and set it somewhere where you're not gonna put, ah, I just flipped mine over. Well, luckily I have some already done. Set it somewhere that it won't get messed up. Here are the finished ones. You can see how they just kind of dry like a little dot. They're very cute. Okay, now how about our sentiment? We're gonna stamp that in verse mark. Let me get my uh, embossing supplies. I'm gonna rub it first with a heat, uh, with a embossing buddy. Um, that's gonna remove any static. And then we will get the sentiment and stamp it. Yay, all the way in verse mark. Okay, and then let's get this out of here. We'll sprinkle it with our embossing powder. Get all that extra off. And I'm gonna grab it with my reverse tweezers so that I don't burn my fingers. And we will get our heat tool. 10 or 15 seconds will do ya. And you'll know it's done when you see it nice and bright and slick. All of the little uh, granules kind of melt together. All right, there we go. Now, let's put our card base together and the measurements for the card base are on a free PDF that's over on my blog for you. So hop over there and grab it. Um, we're starting with Knight of Navy and you're gonna put your score lines in and then you're gonna roll this all the way in like that. See how we're making like a little tunnel? And I'm gonna put my adhesive on that half inch section. Okay. And I'm, the way I like to, to square it is get it and lay it down like that. Okay, and then when it opens up, I know it's exactly how it's supposed to be. Now, I just remembered, what did I forget? My designer series paper. No worries, we can fix it. <laughs> Boy, the, the wheels are starting to come off. All right, let's stick that beautiful winter paper right there. And then let's put, let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and put some more adhesive. You know, I could edit that out or I could just keep it and show you guys that we're just like everybody else. We make mistakes like everybody else. All right, there we go. Now, look, you can't even tell that I made a mistake. Now I'm adding in a piece of navy, or maybe this is, this is Misty Moonlight um, designer series paper. This is from the uh, paper packs that have our color families. And then you're gonna get this piece of navy and we're gonna make kind of like an L shape. And we're gonna put some adhesive again on that half inch section right there. And I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive right on this side. And you've got to make sure that your 
uh, this side isn't going to go over over here and if you put it over here too short it could go over that way so you kind of have to eyeball it and make sure that it's going to fit in both places all right so it looks like maybe it's about a quarter of an inch from the edge and see how when you lay it down flat it goes in the envelope like that pretty cool huh all right now i have a piece of basic white that we're going to emboss so we are in fact going to bring over that cut and emboss machine again. But this time we're gonna use the embossing folder with the snowflakes on it, if I can get it to open. I'm just gonna stick my square piece of basic white. And this time when you emboss, all you need is the bottom plate, plate number one, your embossing folder, and plate number four. You don't need the clear plates. Okay, and we will bring this back over. Let's put some adhesive. And we're gonna put that. Oh, it looks like, well, did I cut it right? Is it the right size? Yes, it is. Okay. Then I've got a piece of basic white also for the back. If you wanna have a space to write your message, you can put that right back there. All right, now let's bring back our sled. We're gonna use dimensionals here. One, two, and I'm gonna do it kind of on an angle like that. And then we'll get our, our um, skates. And I'm gonna put my dimensionals down here at the bottom. And then, you know what, let's see, do I have many dimensionals over here? I'm gonna take one of these and put it at the top because I want to leave space to stick our little sprigs in here in just a second. Okay, so we've got to leave that space there in the middle open. And we'll put that like that. Now our little sprigs that we made, I'm going to get a little bit of glue and just a tiny, tiny bit. And we'll put one like that and another one stick that in there and then one more for the top skate like that there we go isn't that so cute i want this to hang in my house it's just so cute i need a sled with some skates to hang as a christmas decoration all right, many dimensionals on our sentiment. And we're gonna put that just kind of coming out from there. And there you go. A non red and green Christmas card. And, and you know what, it doesn't really even say Christmas. It could be a winter card, thank you card, birthday card, whatever you want it to be. It doesn't necessarily have to be Christmas. All right, I hope you enjoyed this project. Make sure you click the link here on YouTube to go back to my blog, grab that free PDF, check out the other two sophisticated sled projects, and let me know if you have questions. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye-bye.